Well, they say, um, they say that's a great honor, me being here 50 years. And um, I've always tried to be a hum hummer. And, and I like working with the city. Yeah. That's what made me stay here as long as I did. First day, I'm, I was working on the back of a, I was working on a trash truck. I was a laborer, and I was a laborer for about five years. And then I moved up to a truck driver. And then I moved up to an operator. I liked what I was doing, and uh, I enjoy what I do. That makes me come to work every day. I don't miss no days or nothing like that, but like I said, I enjoy what I do. So I started in 88 and met Oscar when I was at the city's transfer station, and he has not changed since day one to me. He's willing to go anywhere. He's willing to do anything. He's strive to learn during his career. I think if you talk to Oscar a little bit, you'll find out that you know, he started throwing up on the trash side, but you know, now he can drive street sweeper, he can drive a garbage truck, he can drive automated truck if he needs to. He's just an all-around all worker for us. Oscar's everyday demeanor is what you've seen today. He comes in humble every day, and he comes in with a smile on his face every day. He told me one time that that's what he comes here for. You know, he comes here because he likes what he does. So for him to 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 come every day, I know he's got the stories. I'd love to hear his stories sometimes. But you know, there again, he's one of these guys that when it comes to when it comes eight o'clock, he's ready to go to work. Nothing in our yard operation, trash operation, yard trash operation was mechanical at that time, and everything was picked up off the streets and put in the trucks by hand using pitchforks. Um, it's safe to say that Mr. Davis is seeing a lot of changes uh, to the way that the city, the Department of Public Works, and the Solid Waste Division uh, operates over the last 50 years. I've just seen a lot of changes. When I first came here, we used to, um, on the garbage truck, they used to have those iron barrels, and they used to have to tote them iron barrels on your shoulder, and um, they had those metal cans. They didn't have roll carts. Main is they added trees and stuff down on Main when they didn't used to have the, the trees down there on Main Street. If you look back at where Oscar and what, what happened back in the in, in when he started here is minimum wages was $1.45. If gas was 36 cents a gallon, or a brand new car was $3,600. You know, he's raised a child, raised a very successful child, you know, he's got a great wife. So it just shows that if you hang in there. It'll pay off. You know, leadership manifests itself in, in a variety of different ways. And leadership isn't about position or title. It's about how we conduct ourselves every day. And, and, and you are truly an example for younger generations about loyalty, about dedication, about work ethic, and the mayor said it about attitude. Oscar's a worker. You know, Oscar loves what he does, and that's why he comes to work, and that's why he's been doing it for 50 years. But if you actually sit down and talk to Oscar, it's his son and his wife. It means a lot to him. A lot. I want to thank Robert and Alvin Kenneth for having me employed with the city as long as I have. Thank you. I enjoyed every step of the way. And I appreciate this honor y'all give me.